natural gas. I just filled this thing up. I, I should have gone straight to Biggie's instead of making that stupid U-turn in the middle of nowhere. I mean, that, that... the medium can wait, but Biggie can't. Who's that phone? What the hell's going on here? Some kind of plot? Ooh. Oh, this is great. Just great. There, there won't be a car around here for a mile. Why did I even do this? I, I, I hate distributors. They hate me. I hate meetings. I hate ink. I get to Vicky before she takes off with Bobby Reno. I'm gonna throw up. Can't have that. Where is Tomas? Come on, let's go. No, I, I mean it. Any second. Well, let's oh. take you to the hospital. Come on, Cindy. Let's no, go no, to the no, hospital. No, 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 no. My truck's right outside. Wait, you want me to bounce around in your truck? I don't think so. It's got a smooth ride for a truck, Cindy. It's Tomas. If I were you, I wouldn't worry about Tomas. Why isn't he here? I'd be more worried about Jake McKinnon. What about Jake? Yeah, never mind. No one takes him seriously anyway. I know that. Mm -hmm. It's just rumor, that's all. Jake said something? I shouldn't have said anything with you being sick and all. Mm -hmm. what, did he, what did he say? Oh, something to the effect that uh, you were doing Grant's dirty work. That's it, Bobby. You got it now. Go for it. Jake. What's the matter, huh? Truck got a problem? Wait, you crawled underneath Poppy's truck to get a quarter? That's weird. Still here? Yeah, yeah. So. Well, so there's there's time to say goodbye. I was afraid that you and Bobby had. Had what? Gone somewhere? Why did you think Bobby and I were going somewhere? It's just a day trip. Unless, of course, there's something you're not telling me. What's going on? Is there, uh, is there something you're not telling me here, or...? But aren't you delighted to be getting away? No, I mean it. Answer my question. It's obvious, isn't it, Vic? I mean, Bobby understands what you've been going through the past few months, and he simply wants to whisk you out of base City Carl, for a time. If, uh, if Grant, if he was up to something worse than usual, uh, he would tell me about it, right? Of course. You know the answer to that. Just as you know, I'd do anything to keep you and yours out of danger. In fact, that's why I'm here. I thought I'd, uh, I'd keep an eye on things while you're gone. Oh, I don't think that's necessary, really. I mean, we're going to be back by the 10 o'clock news. I can't stop thinking about him, either. Carl. Sometimes I just, I, you know, I, I feel like Ryan, he's, I feel like he's standing right here. I, I, I need a break. Yes, I think this, this trip will do you good. Yeah. Yeah. Where is Bobby taking me anyway? I don't know. 
possible even if I did. I wouldn't say it. Uh -huh. I'm supposed to believe you don't no, know. No, I promise you, I do not know. Well, in any case, he's out getting takeout, so wherever it is that we're going, uh, we won't starve. I suppose it's a good thing that it's just a day trip, because we're not so good at saying goodbye, either of us, are we? You speak for yourself. Did Bobby put you up to this? No, Come on. No, he did not. This is Bobby's idea, and it was a good one. So you're not... You're not doing any matchmaking or anything, are you? Victoria, do I look like dear Abby? <laughs> All right. Okay. You stay close. Close to Bobby. Because I know that he... Well... I know that he and Ryan will always keep you safe. So who are you, Jake McKinnon? You think I'm doing Grant's dirty? Trust, isn't it, Cindy? Well, Bobby, don't, don't you see? He's just dumping his paranoia on me. You think so? That's why he's spreading these rumors. I'm just trying to help Grant with the hospital foundation. Maybe. I'm just sick and tired of hearing about that damn jacket. That's good. That's good, Bobby, so much. Don't worry about it, though. I'll talk to the bartender. Maybe he knows what's going on. No, wait! What if Jake told him you took it? Cindy... Why would Jake do that? Well, he already accused you of being a pickpocket. Maybe he thinks you took his jacket. Now, maybe he stopped trying to blame me. Then why would he blame you in the first place? I can't take this. Is your stomach acting up again? Tomas! What took you so long? Oh, Tomas, just in time. She's feeling kind of poorly. Get me to the hospital. Oh, yeah, tell me what. Why don't you go back to Vicky? I'll go with Cindy, okay? Vicky, shoot. Uh, Cindy, has, has Jake been in here? I don't know why. Well, I just saw him crawl out from underneath Bobby's truck. So what? I'm gonna Cindy, go Cindy, off. like a quarter or something rolled underneath the truck and Jake went after it. Whatever. He's a millionaire. Don't you understand? He doesn't need the quarter. Tomas, everyone knows Jake. It's insane. So can we go, please? I'm gonna lose my lunch on the floor. Right. Has the report been filed? The witness got the message. Excellent. And you know where to go. Just make certain that no one sees you. That's right. Of course I am. Now, what is it? Celebration. Celebration? Mm -hmm. Excuse me, Miss Carlino. May I trouble you for a minute? Uh, yeah, but what can I get for you? I need pastry and cafe latte for a foundation meeting at the hospital around 11.30 this morning. Can you do that? Oh, okay. Um, how many people? Ooh, 12, 14, maybe. Did you call her? Oh, that's okay. No problem. Thank sure. you. Thank you. You want some help? Oh, no, no, no. It'll be fine. Yeah, sure got crowded in here all of a sudden. Well, nothing is going to wreck the mood on that. So you got latte. Don't Terri worry about it. Terrific. 11.30, uh, conference room, hospital. Okay. Maybe even before. Great. Have a nice day. Hey, do you want a rain check on this? Why? Is it raining? <laughs> well, let me help you out in the kitchen. No, no, no. I got it. Don't worry about it. You sure? Yeah. Hey, you deal with the paper. I'll deal with the lunch crowd. And us. Wait till you see what I got planned, okay? Follow me. Anywhere. Sophia. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I interrupting? What are you doing here, Nick? Well, I love Carlino's pizza. What can I say? Oh. All right, pepperoni with cheese. I'll put a rush in it to go. Thank All right, you. I'll do with that. I don't want to get interrupted again. Caught up on your work at the paper? 
I'm on top of everything, Matt. Don't worry about it. No, I'm not worried about it. It's just uh, the computer crisis I'm worried about. And such a coincidence that you were there when it happened. Yeah? You know, seeing all the time that you spend at the office. What are you getting at, Matt? Nothing. I'm not getting at anything. You wouldn't stoop to sabotage, would you? Hey, I came to the rescue, remember? Oh, that's right, you did. Oh, I just... Uh, I'm watching you. Man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Harrison, what's going on? Mr. Madison, keeping busy? I'm, I'm trying, I'm just not as good as you. By the way, any new projects coming up? My sources tell me that you're about to start practicing law again. How does that make you feel? Well, it's a real privilege, thanks for asking. No, the hospital foundation keeps me real busy. So, uh, there'll be a press release, okay? Oh, come now, Mr. Harrison, you and I are men of action. You're not gonna really make me wait for a press release. <laughs> no, I wouldn't think of that. I'll tell you what, I'll have Lorna call you the night before the press release comes out, and you'll scoop everybody in town. All right, then. I'll hold you to that. So long. Yes. There you are. It's time to rescue a stranded motorist. Oh, this is just great. This is just great. I'll probably lose all of my toes. That's right, Jake. The tooth fairy came and filled your car up with gas while you were out there freezing your buns off. Go ahead. Just, just run the battery down. Damn. Whew. Oh, I filled this thing up with gas. I always put an extra cell phone in the glove compartment. Now, who would, what kind of thief would drain the gas out and then and, and take your cell phone? What, well, I'm stuck out of here. Why can't you just go straight to Vicky's instead of making that stupid YouTube? Oh, my. I am so happy to see you. <coughs> you okay? You okay? Yes. Uh, look, my, my, my car, it, it ran out of gas. Really? Yes. Well, they run a lot better with gas in them, don't they? <laughs> You think you could take me to a gas station? Yeah, sure. There's one just a few miles Just up get the road. me to the gas station. Fine. You're gonna freeze. I I'll follow you. Let's go. You, uh, on a bike. What a day. Wait, I should have been out of here hours ago. Ah! Oh, don't do that. That scares the... <sighs> Did you think it was wrong? <laughs> oh, that's not funny. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> Forgive me. I'm sorry. <sighs> Victoria said you were here. She okay? Did you go to the house? Everything's fine. Good. All right. So, you have everything you need? Yeah, I think uh, I got everything. Remember the fail-safe. Now, call me at this number in 48 hours. And perhaps you should use a payphone, just in case. Yeah, right. Count on it. You know, this whole problem could be taken care of so easily. It'll all be handled come nightfall. It'll be so simple. Carl, if you did that, they would come after you first. And I would simply disappear again back into the shadows. You need to look after the boys. You know how that is. Sounding like a parent. Nothing will happen to the boys, not on my watch. I know that. I know that. I'll do my best to stay apprised of Grant's every move. Yeah. And just don't turn your back on him. No. Some of us do have a need for going it alone. Don't we, Bobby? It's a book you should read. The Outsider. Yeah. Listen, you were right about Cindy and Tomas. They're working with Grant. Mm -hmm. He's using them as pawns, but for what reason? I don't know. I don't know. But we at 
they've got to figure out what kind of part they're putting in this game. Just sit here, okay? I'm gonna page John. No. Just, just sit down. Do you down. want me to get Wait. another doctor? No, I don't need a doctor. What if, what if it's food poisoning? It's, it's listen, just, just allergies, Tomas. Allergies to what? I mean, you were basically you know, doubled over. I'm such an idiot. I, I know. I, I grabbed a salad before... Uh... At Sassy's? No, 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 before that. I'm, I'm really allergic to the stuff that they put on the lettuce to make it look fresh. I don't know what I was thinking. Are you sure that's what it is? Yeah, it's happened before. I've got nausea pills in my locker. You mean to tell me that I left work, I drove all the way to Sassy's? I, I, I you... panicked. I'm sorry. Cindy, I could have brought you the pills. I wasn't thinking. I said I'm sorry, uh, Tomas. It's fine, okay? I just have a really busy day. I had to change my whole schedule so I can make it through that foundation meeting. You're going to be there, right? I don't know. I'm way behind in my work. <laughs> Cindy, you're not the only one. And Cindy, you're welcome. Not now. I, I understand you turned in a hell of a performance at Sassy's. Nice work. Go away. We're all finished. Thought you'd be happy to hear that. No more favors. One more. No. Just one more minor task. Whatever you hear, whatever happens, I want you to stay calm. Oh, my lord, what's going on? You're crushing oh, me. You're man, freezing. Huh? I, I, I just couldn't stop thinking about Reno taking God knows where. What do you mean? He's he's just out getting some takeout at Sassy's. And oh, is that, what, is that what he date? told you? I'm sure he's up to something much bigger than that, Vicky. I, I don't think so. I'm leaving as soon as he gets back. You're not going. Jake, come on. I'm, no, I'm telling you, Reno is up to something here, Vic. This is too much, even for you. No. It's too much. Listen to me for one second, okay? I mean... Bobby, he, he stole my cell phone. He, 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 he drained my car from gadgets. Like he did the engagement ring, Vicky. I'm, I'm telling you, he left me stranded in the middle of nowhere. I could have froze to death. Feel my ear. Go ahead. See? Ow. What are you What do you think? He's trying to kill you now? Yes, Jesse. Yeah, he, oh, he, he wants to get me out of the way so he can get you out of town. He told you about the whole trip. That's it, Vicky. He, he wants to get you to, to trust him, just like me. I do trust him. I do, all right? And that's why, as soon as he gets back here, we're going to walk out the door together. That's it, end of no, story. No, you're not. Where are you going? What's he going to talk to you? This isn't right, Vicky. And you think about it. I got mugged Christmas Eve, right? Since then, nothing has been right. What do you... What do you think? This is some kind of a plot? Right. Bobby planned this whole thing. You mean to try to get rid of you? Exactly. He wants to get rid of me, so he's got a clear path to you. Something is wrong with this Reno guy, Vicky. I, I, I don't know what. I could just feel it in my gut. What are you trying to do? Ruin my whole day? No, I'm more concerned about your, your life. Where, where, where is he taking you anyway, Vicky? You he... have no idea. I don't know exactly where he's taking me, but so what? You know, a little mystery. Is there something wrong with that? You, you bought that something? mystery? I could use a break that? myself, to be perfectly honest. I... You! are losing your edge, Vicky. What's he got to talk to you about? You got to take your way for this. He wants to tell me something important. Please, I right? am begging you. You want me to beg you? Mm. Don't go, Vic. Just for me, don't go. I shouldn't let this threaten you. <laughs> this is not about me. Let me ask you a question, all right? What if your kids never see you again? I'll be home tonight, I promise. No, you're not listening to no, me, I'm Vicky. listening to you, you and you're now you're making me mad. Why do you have to turn him into some kind of a criminal? I'm just going away for the day, and I want you to accept it. I uh, accept it. Why don't you do me a favor? Why don't you explain to me what happened to the gas in my car? What happened to my cell phone? Jake, I don't know. You, you lost your cell phone. You forgot to no. get gas. It no, I, no! He's my friend, and I'm going. And that's it. I don't think so, Vic. I, I, I don't... Obviously you don't think... Look, he doesn't have to pull any tricks or, or leave you stranded on the side of the road. You see, he doesn't have to do that. Be because, like you said, this isn't about you. It's, it's about Bobby. Something, I don't know, he wants to tell me about his life or something. And that's not easy You're not for everyone. You're not going I'm anywhere. Going. What? Just trust me on this. Something about this doesn't feel right, Vicky. Come on, this, this, this isn't right for you. Don't put yourself through this.
No, it's fine, all right? I'm just gonna... I'll stay here. I'll talk to Jay, Bobby when you get there. come on. There. You're not gonna stay here. You just let, let me go with you. No, okay, be serious. Go. You're not... I'll just, I'll just go to keep an eye on you, all right? I mean, I'll, I'll stay out of the... He won't even know He'll I'm there. Know. He'll know. He won't even see me in his rearview mirror. That way, if I find out the guy's... Or if he tries to tell you that he's some kind of... Kind of Ex-murderer. Yes, then I'll be right there. Well, if you were here, we wouldn't even be having this discussion. Because I'd be sitting right over there, by the fire. And the kids would be here, and Ryan would have his arms around me, and we probably wouldn't say a word all night. And I just can't, you know, wrap my, my mind around the fact that he's not here anymore. I, I don't know, no matter how hard I try, I just... I, uh, I, I try to be here. But you don't. You're not here for me. Where are you? Where are you? Where's my friend Jake? What are you talking about? I'm just trying to look out for you. So... What if, uh... What if Bobby doesn't understand about, about Ryan? What do you mean? He knows, he knows I'm still if, in love with Ryan. What if he doesn't he does. respect he that? I'm not talking to you anymore about Bobby. I mean, no, that's it. I'm just What if he tries to give you some romantic, but like, like he would know some romantic. Stop it! All right? Stop it! You out and I made you mad at no, me. I'm not. I'm not mad at you. I don't know I'm what I am. I'm just, you know, I'm up all over, all day, Listen, all day. I've been Vicky, like this. I just. If I could bring Ryan back, I. For you, I would. I'm sorry. What a waste of time, huh? I mean, you know, you're gonna go no matter what I say, right? <laughs> Go. Okay. Okay. Go. Oh, and I have to ask for you. No, I'm just trying know. to say to you, be careful, I would all right? Be careful. Would you think I would go if, if, if leave the kids if I thought something no. would start a range no. or weird? No, but you call me as soon as you get home, okay? Well, if you find yourself, I'll I didn't lose my. Get some gas. <clears throat> and don't go getting yourself into trouble while I'm gone. I mean it. And you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna be back before um, today turns into tomorrow. It's gonna get cold if I don't get out of here. Well, why don't you let me replace it? At least it'll be warm. <laughs> Vicki likes her food cold. She likes cold burgers, cold fries, and cold ribs. I don't understand it either. So. And what about you? Me, I don't care, Carl, as long as Vicki's happy. Don't make more of that than it is. It's just food. Love. Love can be very persuasive. Well, who said anything about love? Love is the power. To heal, to mend, to redeem, to soften. Even the hardest of hearts. My past was, was dark indeed. And were it not for Rachel's love, I would have no future. Make no mistake, that were it not for Rachel, Grant Harrison would be dead. 
I no doubt would be paying the price, living once again in another world. And then, of course, I never would have met you. You make it sound real nice. I just... I don't think that's gonna work out. Not for me and Vicky. Have faith. Have faith. Carl, any fool can see that she's still in love with Ryan, and I can't compete with that. Don't be so sure. Tommy, yeah. Do listen to your inner voice. Always, Carl. Always. And Bobby, there are moments when I feel I've been blessed with another son. If my old man had been like you, Carl, yeah, you know, how could that be? There's no one like you. Ryan was a lucky man. Thank you. Come home soon. It's time for a little chat. What are you going to do? You have to tell me. I don't have to tell you anything. You're really going to hurt somebody, aren't you? All you have to do is stay calm. I can't! You can. Especially if you hear some disturbing news about Victoria Hudson. What did you do? You just have to remember that you had nothing to do with this, and neither did I. I never wanted to hurt anybody. You said I'd run errands. I've often wondered what it would feel like to die in a fire. Have you? Please don't do this. Do what? Do what, Cindy? Call Gabe? I can do that. Watch me. I can tell him everything I know. I won't help you get away with murder. Why not? You've been getting away with it for years. Oh, my God. You're going to kill Vicky. I'm not going to kill anybody. You're lying. You set up Jake, didn't you? I've had nothing to do with the man. No, but I have. That's what you were using me for, the fingerprints and the jacket. You're going to try to make it look... Jake would never hurt Jake is a very passionate man. He's a jealous man also. Now, jealousy often leads to tragedy. You're despicable. You know, I have to commend you on your work. You're awfully good, and we make a hell of a strong team, don't you think? What's going to happen to Vicky? Well, I have no idea what's going to happen to Victoria, but I do know that things can happen out on the highway, terrible things, and accidents often can't be prevented. You mean like a bullet in the back, maybe? You just remember that. I've got to stop. I was at work today, and I came across this word I'd never seen before. I think it was called, a uh, deadline. You ever heard of that? Well, I know what I want, and I don't mind waiting for it. Listen, Grasshopper, Confucius say, don't play games with the boss. Why not? I'm gonna win. Yeah. Hey, sorry for the wait. No problem. Um, I put some extra foil on there so it'll stay warm when you get back to the office. Well, I'll be glad to share it with you right here if you want. Nick, I'm, I really am. I'm very busy. Sorry I can't. Okay. Okay? See ya. Hey. Hey. How are you? Thanks for sticking around. No problem. You're worth waiting for. Good. Okay. Close your eyes. Right here? Right here. Ooh. And don't open them until we get into the kitchen. No, I promise. Okay? Yes. Okay. Lead on. All right. Come on. I'm coming. Are we here? Yep. Don't peek. I'm not. Don't peek. Should I count? Oh, I like the sound of that. Can I open? No, not yet. Not yet. Don't open. I'm not. Just give me a moment here. Okay. All right. Oh. Okay. I'm dying to see what it is. You can open your eyes. No, close oh. them. Close them, please. Keep They're them closed. closed. Keep them closed. Okay. Open them up. Oh, my goodness. Happy anniversary. Let's celebrate. Anniversary of what? Six months ago, you pulled me out of that car and you saved my life. 
Has it been that long already? Yep. And my life has... It's completely different now. Because of you. You are, um... You're my lifesaver, you know? My hero. You get it? <laughs> yeah, I get it. Thanks. Thanks. Now listen, uh, why don't I make a toast? Actually, the toast is part of this. Matt, you... You kept me alive. Out on the road that night, and... But after that, too. You know, when I felt my world was caving in, I didn't want to live. I... I wanted to give up everything. And I certainly thought I wouldn't trust anyone ever again. And there you were. And you're still here. And you... You told me to keep going and to keep holding on. And I did. And my life is... I like my life now. And... I don't know. I just, I just look forward to every day and, and I just appreciate everything that you did for me. Thank you. To the future. I just, um, <laughs> I just can't believe it, you know. Everything is going well, school and my job and feeling comfortable with you and with myself. I know what you mean. Okay, it's my turn. My turn. Okay. <clears throat> to Sophia, who makes everything easy and fun. There's no rushing. No hassles. And I don't have to prove anything to anyone. Neither do I. <laughs> okay. Manja. Hey, all right. I've been dying to cut into this cake. Oh, boy. Be careful there. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Looks pretty good, huh? Yeah. Here you go. Oh, oh you the take the first bite. Yep. Oh. <laughs> It'll never last. So, you about ready here? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. I almost forgot this. Uh -huh. One for the road? Oh, yeah, but I'll have it outside in the car. I got some coffee out there. I, uh, I'll, I'll, I like that. I like that, too. I like to melt it. In. Oh, yeah, I like that as well. Okay. So how about we split that? Fine. Okay. I'll divide it. All right. Is that how you do it? You, you divide bet. It up? All right. You choose. Come on. Oh, my God. Oh. I know you're a gentleman. I know you'll do the right thing. Yes, ma'am. Hey, come <laughs> on. That's not fair. that gardening stuff out there like that? Put it away when I get back. Hmm. You didn't plant those seeds, did you? Yes, I did. Hmm. Why, are they going to die? No, no. They'll grow. I want my whole yard to be full of wildflowers next spring. I would like that. <laughs> like it and you will see it we both will yeah i hope so i mean why wouldn't we we're only going away for the afternoon right did you miss the foundation meeting cindy i was busy listen you know what we needed your input and you said that you were gonna i already missed half of my shift because I got sick. You These meds are late. Why don't you tell that to Grand Harris? Stupid! 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 What's going on with you today, Cindy? Look, I'm just, I'm tired. Listen, I want to help you. Why don't you just go home, okay? You think I can't even pick up medication? Then just take a sick day, okay? Look, you can't be doing this stuff. Somebody's really going to suffer, Cindy. Stop! <laughs> I can't even do my job! We're going to sort them out together, all right? No! 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 This is mine! This is my responsibility. God, what have I done? What am I going to do? Cindy, are you okay? Are you okay?
you okay? I'm fine. I got it. Thanks. No, listen. It's really no trouble. I will help you. It okay? is trouble. Leave me alone. Cindy, listen. If you can't do your job, I will find somebody else to handle it, okay? Can you pass me those, please? Seems to be the trouble. Nothing. Oh, it's something. I think I know what it is. It's Grant Harrison. Isn't it? No, it's nothing. I'm just having one of those days. The man is evil. What has he done to you? I hardly know the man. He's threatening you, isn't he? Oh, don't be ridiculous. Of course he is. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. What has he asked you to do for him? Hmm? What is it? Oh, Cindy, you don't have to be afraid of Grant Harrison. Let me protect you. Tell me what he wants you to do. Tell me now. Tell me before it's too late. Sunshine, there you go. Thank you. Why are you looking at me like that? Oh, I have ice. Do I have icing on my face? <laughs> I do. Uh, yeah, a little bit over there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Though that's not why I was looking at you. I was looking at you because it's just nice to see somebody happy in Bay City for a change. Well, I definitely am. Well, good, because you made my day. I'm out of here. And uh, try to bring some of that good mood with you to the salt mines, all right? I'll try. Oh, Chris? How are you? Oh, I'm fine, Jake. Where have you been? Oh, well, I was out doing something you told me not to do. Now, what could that I possibly... Stop. I tried to stop her. Chris. So, uh, I guess that means that you went out to her house. Which means that you did not go to the, uh, the distributor's meeting. It's a long story, all right, Jay? You shouldn't have gone out there. So now look, look at you. Look at where you are. Here, you're here again oh, doing man. what? You know what? Just sit down. Here, have yourself some manicotti. <clears throat> Would you stop with the manicotti? I'm, I'm serious about this. Yeah, I'm serious too. Because I, I couldn't, I couldn't make her stay. I mean, I think he's gone. I'm just looking forward to hitting the open road. How about you? Yeah, let's roll. No, no, please. I'm begging you both stop. Did I forget something? I don't know, Vicky. Why don't you double check? I don't know. Okay, just stay. I know I have money. Don't you understand? And, There's but... danger on the road. Both of you, please. I'm begging you both. Just stay. Now. I guess that's it. All right. Hold on. Let's go. Yeah, please. please, don't. Tonight on NBC, get ready to laugh. It's all new must-see TV Tuesday comedies. Mad About You, Something So Right, Frasier, and Caroline in the City. Plus an all-new Dateline, tonight. Well, you have succeeded, hasn't he, Cindy? That remains to be seen. I haven't tried the berries yet. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Grant. Don't mention it. I'll have your waiter send coffee over. Enjoy yourselves. How long has Hutchins been at the bar? A while. 
He seems to be particularly surly this afternoon. Water down his drinks. The last thing I need is one of his ugly scenes. So, Carl, what's the real reason that uh, Bobby's taking Vicky on this little jaunt? Rachel, I'll monitor your pregnancy closely. There's really no need for concern. What about stress? Well, certainly, stress is something to be avoided. When Carl finds out about this pregnancy, that's a given. Well, there's no need for Carl to know. There's no need for anyone to know except you and me. I won't eat this. You know, that was a, a good-looking sandwich to begin with. Look, you gotta eat it, all right? I mean, it's good for you. Come on, I know it's delicious. What? Sweeties. We have Sundays for dessert. If you eat those, you little con man. Okay, okay, fine. If you eat that, oh, you, you, okay, you too then. You gonna eat that? Come on, it's good for you. Make you grow up big and strong, big and strong and Italian. Hi, I know. Hi, darlings. Don't. Don't see any green vegetables on those plates. Fresh fresh fresh. Fresh. Oh right no. Yeah, come on, get rid of the program there. What are you doing here? I just wondered if you had an emergency number where Victoria could be reached. You didn't leave me one. Uh, I don't have one. Why? Is there an emergency? No, it's just that uh, it's not like her not to leave me a number. Right. Um, I tell you what, you guys uh, eat up. Nana and I are going to have a little talk over here. How do you barge in on my day with these boys? And, I mean, come on, needing a number for Vicky, that's a pretty flimsy excuse. It's not. Now, what if I had to hunt you down in order to reach her? Donna. Donna? Earth to Donna. I don't know. It's Victoria. Under the truck. Bobby? Out of the truck! Out of the truck! Now! Get out of the truck! Open the door! Come on! Let's go! Let's go! No! No, come on! No time! Run! Run!
Jack, if Victoria wanted you to know where and why she was going, she would have told you, wouldn't she? She, she did. She said that she said that that Bobby had something to tell her. Well, there you are. No, that's not that. That's, Carl, I'm telling you, there, there's something more going on here. I I can feel it. What what do you have going on with with Mr. Reno? Jake, respect her privacy. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a telephone call to make. No, I don't excuse you. Now, Carl, Grant has been making noise again. Noises. Well, Victoria's out of harm's way. Just be glad of that. Are you ordering a drink or just taking up space? You know, so I'm just taking up space, okay? What are you writing a book? As a matter of fact, no, I, I will have a drink. Why don't you get me a double vodka while you're up? I wait a minute, wait a minute. I'll have another. And if you water it down, I'll have your guts for garters. <laughs> so, any new messages from your buddy, Barbarino? Jack, do everyone a favor, don't interfere. Thank you, William. Interfere? Carl, you see, you don't understand what's going on with, with me and Vicky. Or neither does Victoria, so it would seem. Oh, would you do me a favor and knock off that predator thing? Look at me here. It's, it's getting kind of spooky. What do you see there, Carl? <laughs> What's he doing? What are you going to do to Grant today? Nothing. Just watching. Donna, what about Victoria? Come on, you said Victoria. What about her? I don't know. It's nothing. I just hope she's all right. Well, I, I'm sure that she's all right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, I love you too, you little pirate, but you're not getting dessert until you eat what's on your plate, all right? Eat. Little rascal, he's trying to work you from across the room. Speaking of working me, why are you following me? I wasn't following you, honestly. I thought you were going to take these guys to one of those greasy spoons you're so fond of. I just came in here for lunch. Oh, really? Well, a minute ago, you said that you came in here and asked me for Vicky's phone number. Well, that too. Uh-huh. But we're all here anyway. It's kismet. No, it's not kismet, Donna. Come on, I just want to spend one afternoon alone with my grandsons. That's all. Right now, this is the only record of your pregnancy. Carl can't see that. Well, he doesn't have to. But you're not going to be able to keep the pregnancy a secret from him forever. John, I need time to figure things out. Carl and I aren't together, and we're not together because he will not let go of this war with Grant. And he won't let go of it, even though he knew it would mean losing me. I've made it clear to him he can't have both, and yet he still is determined to have me and his revenge. How much more determined do you think he's going to be when he finds out about this baby? It could be that the baby will allow him to let go of his battles. Wouldn't that be wonderful? But what if it doesn't? And what about the other battles? I mean, do I want to be with a man who's going to throttle anybody who crosses him? And what about this child, John? I mean, it's going to grow up. It's going to have tussles on the playground. It's going to go to Little League, and maybe some Little League father won't like how my kid plays. What's Carl going to do? I mean, can I trust him? I, I haven't been able to so far. Rachel, these are questions that only you can answer. I know, but... But then you're right. I mean, this baby could be the answer to so many things for Carl. It could help him heal. He's never really been allowed to be a real father, and I, I don't want to deprive him of any of those things. I, then tell him. Lose the secrecy. How can I? How can I? Because, because you know how he is. I mean, once he finds out I'm pregnant, he's going to hover, he's going to worry, he's going to be adorable. And I'm going to want him to be part of it, and he's going to want to be. And I, 
I'll take him back, and then what am I taking back? All of his battles, his disappearances, his, his violence. I can't live like that any longer. And I certainly don't want to expose a new baby to that. No, I understand. Do you really? Nobody else seems to. so many decisions to make, and none of them are easy, and I... I just can't do it with him. I'm pressuring me, you know? I, I have to see where he's going, and... I just need time to sort it all out. Rachel, listen to me. What you need is to take care of yourself. All right? I'll take care. if it isn't the upstanding publisher of the Herald. <laughs> Lunch date with Miss Margarita? No, actually, this is Miss Vodka. Hello, Miss Vodka. There's books, Amanda. Education and human relations, I trust. I have a lunch meeting, Carl. Business. I'm surprised to see you in here, Amanda. Grant doesn't intimidate me, Carl. Some people never learn. Are you waiting for a table? You'll have to excuse me. Suddenly, the air has become fetid. <laughs> Do come again, Carl. Amanda, I was wondering when you'd stop by. Your curiosity was always so endearing. Oh, you know something? You can just leave her alone, Grant. She's not going to eat lunch if she's afraid you might put arsenic in the food. Hmm. Does that mean you're staying for lunch? No. Oh. Hmm? I think my mother made a reservation for lunch. I would have chosen differently. Uh -huh. May I take your package and coat? Oh, you can keep the package. It's yours. Mine? Oh, I'll, I'll bet it's a late Christmas present. Uh, no, remainders. Remainders? Your book. We have loads and loads of them at Corey. I thought you might want them. Clearly, nobody else does. You go, girl. You tell him. You go, Amanda. You go. You know what, McKinnon? I think you're drunk, and I'm going to have to ask you to leave because you're upsetting our patrons. Oh, is that right? Well, you, right. You've upset a lot of people's lives. Can I ask you to leave the planet? Don't make me get the police involved. Okay. Why? Sit. The Come door on. is that. Let's blow this popsicle down. Let's have some fun somewhere. Please. Let me leave me alone. Okay? Grant. You need some sleep. Hello, me. Are you guys having a nice, nice dinner here? You haven't changed your perfume. Hi. You might have to sit right down here for a second. Oh! I will now. If my mother comes by, tell her I'll be back shortly. Thanks. Let's get you out of here. I'm sorry, Captain. I hurt Are you usually the first one who hears when there's been an accident? Or, you know, something like a murder? Something like a murder? I've been reading a lot of murder mysteries. I thought you hated murder mysteries. I used to. I've had a lot of time to read since I came to Bay City. Okay, what is it? It's what? Come on, you've been anxious and distracted all day long. What is it? William, why don't you uh, busy yourself by Captain McNamara's table? See what you managed to overhear. Uh, I'm huh? having lunch with a friend here, and I would like not to be seated in Siberia again. As a matter of fact, I think I'll just have lunch at the bar. <sighs> Whatever makes you happy, Donna. So I hear the Harbor Club is still for sale. 
Not for long, hopefully. Matter of fact, if you'll excuse me, I'm showing a potential buyer around as we speak. Really? How many times do I have to tell you my life is pure routine? Uh-uh. I've known you for too long. Nothing's wrong. You've been upset all afternoon. You haven't listened to a word I've said. Yes, I have. No, you haven't. Now, listen to me. Whatever it is, you can tell me. Keep moving to Bay City was a huge mistake. I can't imagine how big. Hey, uh, Rachel. I knew it. I knew if I stood right on this spot that you'd come by. What are you doing? Have you been... Have you been drinking? A little bit. Oh, Carl, what are you doing? It's not even lunchtime. Oh, it was a liquid lunch. <laughs> Carl, don't do this to don't, yourself. Don't shut me up, Rachel. Don't shut me up. You know, I can, I can stand about... Well, it's just about anything. I worry about you every minute. I know you've just come from the hospital. Now, tell me, what are the doctors saying to you? Carl, you can't be concerned every time I go to the hospital. I mean, it was nothing. It was a, a meeting with Felicia. <laughs> Is that all it was? No, I'm worried about you. Well, then it's as hard for you as it is for me, isn't it? Do you know what we should do? We should go over there and get a drink. Hmm? Oh, no. <laughs> you haven't changed your feelings about me. I see it in your eyes. I can hear it in your mouth. Listen to me. Listen to me. Don't assume anything about how I feel anymore. Jake, be grateful for whatever TLC you get these days. 